Okay, so now we're going to run you through the simple steps to uh, capture a simple endpoint assay with fluorescence. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the protocol tab and we're going to click on that. And we're going to click on fluorescence intensity and new. And this will allow us to select an endpoint assay and click OK. The first thing we're going to do is enter a name up here under the test name. So I'm going to call this training one assay. And I'm going to choose the plate that I'm interested in using from the list of plates. In this case, the list I'm looking for is the LabTech 96 plate. Most of these have defaults that are prepared specifically for this type of mode. So in this case, a positioning delay of, two, of 0.2 seconds and start time and number of flashes per well are all defaulted. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to select the filter that I'm interested in, the 485 520 and I'm going to use the top optic for imaging. I don't need orbital averaging on at this point. I'm going to click on OK. Actually, let's go click on Layout. The Layout tab allows us to define which wells I'm using. So in this case, I'm just using the row D. So I'm going to click on Sample, because I have all samples in D. And I'm going to click on the D. And you'll see that it inputs all those samples. If I have blanks, I'm going to enter a blank in by double-clicking on a well or dragging several wells. And if I have any standards, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. So after my, um, my blanks and my samples are input into the layout design of that plate, I'm going to click OK and go over to the green light and choose the training one assay that I'd like to run. I'm going to type in here, 10 flashes, uh, row D, whatever you want to do, fluorescence. And I'm going to click on the Gain Adjustment tab. Since I already know that lane uh, well 12 over here is the brightest one, I'm going to click on it and choose Well Gain Adjustment. The system's going to take about four or five seconds, go out to find that well, and adjust the gain intensity to 90% of maximum. So this gain adjustment number is 1244, and that value will be 233,000 counts which is 90% of maximum of saturation. Then we just click on Start Measurement, and it will run through the routine and test lane D and show us the values for each one of those values. It's also going to show us any blank values that might be there, and you see the data is pretty quick. I click on the Close button, and now my data is saved into the routine, and I can go to the Analysis or Export that data. So that's the quick way to do a test run for fluorescence endpoint 